Fellas, how are you all doing? Let me just joint that brown real quick. And hope you're doing well. I'm having a blast. And uh, lots of new changes to TF2. I, uh, lots of them, actually. Lots and lots of changes. Um, hey there, Brom. This is Guardian being one of them, actually. Trigger at the start of combat. Grants plus 50 armor to adjacent allies. This armor can stack. That means you can put 100 armor on a single ally. I honestly think Guardian is good for that one reason. Because everyone has that one carry of their team comp, right? You can give up to two people if you position your Guardians correctly. 100 armor. That's disgusting. That is crazy, crazy, crazy. So. Maybe we give Brahm a real shot. You hit like baby a rat. Uh, let's go with this. I think this is better. I think this is better. The uh, the ninja buff gained 40 attack damage is adding a lot. And then the just raw tankiness from Warwick is adding a lot as well. So I think we're better off doing this. Better off alone. Let's go there. Looking good. Nice, nice. Hopefully that guy's volley bear does not get out of hand because that is a scary sight to behold. Okay. And we're working on our win streak arena. Next round, we'll have it. That's nice. That's real nice. 
Playing away, uh, playing around a win streak is not bad. Definitely not bad. I really want to use our items, but I also want to save them. This is tough. This is a toughie. Uh, just on it. You go bye bye. We can put in one more. You know what? I'm gonna try something that I don't recommend. Getting or not. The early reroll. I don't recommend doing those, but a lot of the champs we're going for are very level one focused. Therefore, there is some viability to doing so. We can put the Redemption or Rage Blade on Vayne and run away with some wins here, which honestly we might if this win streak continues. We might want to explore that route. We got three right now. Let's see what this item shall be. Oh, we are picking dead last, so let's not get our hopes up. Um, I'd be fine with that TF, actually. <clears throat> we could go carry one of these bad boys. Carry Bully Bear, carry Aatrox. Um, right now I'm leaning towards TF for that other recurve bow. Alrighty. TF it is. We have three pirates, but we're on a win streak, so I don't really want to prioritize pirates right now. I want to prioritize this win streak. That's what I care about the most currently. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh. Is this guy going to stay in if I don't do anything here? <clears throat> do I just get a free unit? Dude, maybe this is the meta. We're saying goodbye to Ninja if we do this. I'm down. Dude, maybe this is the meta. <laughs> Five champs, bro. Five champs and we're only level four. Maybe before every carousel. You literally just fill up your board. Hit level four. Put in four champs. If you haven't done that already. I don't know if that naturally happens or not. Get that extra champion, get the most OP champion you can find, and just roll with this? Dude. I mean, I'm sold. I wish I put in my two pirates before this, I, if I could have seen that from happening. If I sell anyone, TF instantly goes on the bench. So I gotta make sure the purchase I do is completely worth it. Right now, honestly, there's no one I want to do. There's nobody I want to sell right now. <clears throat> Let's do this. Rageblade Vein is always a safe bet because a lot of her damage is solely based off of how fast she can attack. <laughs> the most ghetto 5 champion team comp you'll ever see. This guy's level 5. I'm, I'm just cheating the game over here. We got the noble buff. Oh, it's Warwick. I hope a lot of people focus him. It's 3v3. Lucian's being slippery. They need to focus Warwick. Oh, the gunslingers totally took out my other guys. Ah, uh, well, that put us in a hard spot, not gonna lie. Um... Oh boy, oh boy. We can't move any of our guys because of... Ay, ay, ay. That sucks a lot. That sucks a lot. Alright, we're saying goodbye to this guy. I think we're saying goodbye to Warwick too. Alright. We got all our stuff. And... Gosh, dang it. We are one econ away from doing what we want here. Um, 
think I'm gonna drop this actually. I might solely play for Econ here and not look for uh, crazy, crazy nobles. I would have rerolled before that last round, before I bought that EXP to try to get as many nobles as possible. But there's two ways to go about going noble, okay? You can either uh, super reroll once you're level four because that's when your highest probability of getting tier one champs is. And noble, you know, has three tier one champs and one tier two champ. So, doing that is very, very viable. And uh, now that we lost, I think I'm going to look to do this. <sighs> Say bye-bye, Noble. And roll with this. We literally only have the pirate combo right now, which is not ideal at all, but... The best we can do okay that's <clears throat> best we can do hopefully our pirates can carry us a bit uh we're gonna buy exp to keep us in the game rather than re-rolling for champs re-rolling for champs is very risky because you could get unlucky and then just be throwing your gold out the window if you buy exp you at least know it's going somewhere that's gonna be with you forever Does that makes sense so the trick is Oh man. I'm gonna be losing hard here, so I'm gonna buy up, put you in, and then. Oh boy, oh boy. Who do we wanna say goodbye to? I honestly really like keeping this Braum. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. Level 2 Pike is going to be Gonzo. This Guardian buff, dude. Better pay off. It better pay off. The very early Glacial Knight. That would have been nice if we were going this comp, getting something like this that early. Very, very, very nice. I want a Leona, but... Actually, we actually want to lay on a pretty soon because we're rocking this Lucian like no other. I mean, Braum, sorry. Not bad. Another noble friend in the mix. Uh, speaking of, let's bust out the Gunslinger noble buff. That was a good put in right there. We got two buffs off of that one Lucian. Uh, hopefully, we can survive off this, get more econ, utilizing pirates the best we can, and then. Uh, ooh. I like this move a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Disarming TF. I want to put this on Lucian when I can because he's the disarming god. With his double shots along with his um, gunslinger bonus. It's beautiful stuff. Not bad, not bad. Keep the gold rolling in. Just kidding. We're getting boots on cooldown. Okay, we got a tier. Um, options, options, options. Seraphs would be really strong. Um, let's see here. Oh, that spatula would be the dream, but I know that's a little out of our reach. And it's gone. Okay. <laughs> that lasted for a whole two seconds. Um, another tier wouldn't be bad. Uh, that recurve bow is now gone. Okay. I am a sad panda. Uh, Spear of Sojourn would be pretty nice. Let's see here. Seraphs or Spear of Sojin? Decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh man. <clears throat> I think we're gonna rock the Spear of Sojin. Just cause it's like another way of getting mana back, you know what I mean? Good stuff. Really want a spatula to occupy this guy though. Real bad. Oh, dude! We're a pro! <laughs> Back on our seven man team comp. They gotta fix this, man. They gotta fix this. We can't move any of our units, but 
We're basically level 7 right now with a free Zed in there. And I love how we give it the item as well. <laughs> Dude, this is the most OP tactic there is. We definitely would have lost that without the Zed in there. Wow. It doesn't let you buy any uh, champs though. But um... I like this TF looks pretty juicy. Oh, I want it. I want it. Or the Gangplank, sorry. Alright, now we can think about it. Let's see here. Blade Masters. Alright, if we get a Draven, we could throw in the Blade Master.
Oh! <laughs> thought they were gonna clutch it for a second. The HP loss is getting less, which is uh, exactly what I want to see. We have a BF, therefore... <clears throat> we just need one of these spatches, dude. We're, we're picking second. Uh, what's going on here? <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Ooh, another spatch. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. That saved us a lot of EXP level ups to get the champs in we need. Um, I really want to throw in a Draven. We're looking at... We, we basically know our team comp now. Let's take a look. Uh, with Noble, you need a good secondary. Right now, our secondary is going to be Guardian, because Leon is Leon's already part of the Noble comp. And Draven, because... One second here. We just got some dope, dope items. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful! Let's put Leona here. We'll give double armor to Draven. And Darius? Sure, why not? Looks pretty good to me. Now we just need to get this Kale. Oh man, once we get Kale, we're in a good spot. That was such a good carousel and such a good roll for us. Oh, this transition's gonna be clean. Literally, we're just baying for Kale now. And level 8, it's gonna give us the best chance to get her. And we can put one more unit in, wow. We are looking good right now, especially with this uh, possible force of nature. I am actually might spend a bunch of rerolls finding this Kale now, just to keep our HP as high as possible. Let's go with that. Put you in. Actually, no, it's not. Uh... Hey, where are you? The MF Gunslinger is nice, but we're gonna pass. You know what? Random Blade Master in there is not bad at all. Yasuo could be a good uh, last pickup for us, dude. Speaking of Blade Master, shout out to the nine Blade Master comp we had. So dirty. So, so dirty. I kind of want to save this for Kale as well, honestly. You hit like baby rat. Comp's looking good. We're literally just looking for Kale, fellas. We are looking for Kale. Right now. Right now. Wow. Not so lucky. Don't really want to go with the Garen. Um, I really want to keep as much Econ as I can. But um, we'll see. We'll see. Given Draven, double armor is very solid. And uh, I don't know if I want to give it to Fiora. Fiora gets 100 armor because of the position she's in. Crazy. Ooh. Ooh. We have another possible disarm. We give Lucian double disarm? I don't think that's good. I'll sleep when they're dead. Uh, let's see here. Frozen heart. Wouldn't be too bad. Huh. Actually, let's do this. One more recurve bow. Would be oh so nice. One more recurve bow. <clears throat> That's why I don't like using it on Vayne early. I think we still would have been alive right now and giving Draven a rapid fire is just beyond disgusting. But our comp overall is looking good. It's looking good, honestly. 
Um, items we don't need would probably be these two. I'm thinking about giving Vayne a static, just because her attack speed's looking pretty solid. And static is a pretty underrated item. I used to hate it, but it's growing on me. It's growing on me. But look at this Draven. I just gotta cater to this right now. Oh man, oh man. There's basically nothing else I want to give him besides this rapid fire. Hmm. After casting, rare gains 15% max mana per attack. I wonder if this would be good on Draven. It would be more axes. I'm curious how many he can juggle at a time. Let's watch, let's watch Draven and see how he works. Okay, he's got one axe now. Okay. It looks like after he gets one, he's honestly fine. He doesn't need like six axes in the air. Maybe if he had insane Blade Master bonus, it would be worth it. Like in the nine Blade Master game we had, if I gave him like a Seraphs or something. That would honestly be pretty freaking sweet. But not a requirement um do we want to go up to level nine honestly we're in a spot where we can and it'll give us what we need the most the fastest aka kales and yasuos we're not going to be getting many of these tier one champs that we have like veins aren't going to be coming out often yoras so leveling straight to nine might be the way to go and uh getting a recurve bow next round is going to be so so crucial i hope Honestly, if both of these guys die, that would be insane. Okay, this guy's the guy in first place. We want one of these guys. Maybe Buggy to die. Looks like we're doing pretty well against the guy in first. What? Varus doesn't cancel his attack from a Yasuo Q if he's charging? Hey, we beat the guy in first. That's good, that's good, that's good. Is this guy dead? <clears throat> it looks like it. Oh my god, never mind. Never mind, I call it OP. He's still alive. Dang it. They're both still alive. That's not good for us. <sighs> Reaker Bow, please. Please be another one. Oh, God, there's only one, and it's on a Swain. That's a very, very high valued pick. Oh, man. There's hope, there's hope, there's hope, there's hope, there's hope. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Right on through. That is perfect for us, dude. Oh, <clears throat> Dragon's coming up. That'll give us a full item. Draven has two items on him. I'm hoping it's one that works well on him. We can just stack up the Draven and look to get this new noble buff. Okay, we'll sell that. <laughs> Bop one of you. Thank you. Thank you. And I seriously want to look to level because getting Kale as a level 9 is so much more likely. It's disgusting. Throwing out a Force of Nature on one of these frontline guys would be pretty solid, but we're going to hold off. Look at this. 25 armor from Draven. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Bang, bang. 85. 185. What? Dude. How did he get that much? Oh my god! Where's the damage? Look at this damage, dude! <laughs> He's hard carrying! Oh my god. <laughs> that is madness. The win streak is looking good. I'm considering selling every guy we have besides Leona and Yasuo. I'm considering it. It is not out of the realm completely. Dude, I want to see what this new noble looks like so bad. I'm very, very curious. Curiosity's levels maxed. Dude, is... Okay, he's at 125 this round. That's what I thought it was going to be. Look at the damage add up. This is where he takes off. Where he's... Oh, God. 
Leona stun is so so long. Can Draven drop his axes by not autoing for so long? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but oh, our front line is doing such a good job. Look at this. Weather attacks cannot be dodged. Attack range is doubled. Beautiful. Whoa, 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 whoa! Rapid fire. Uh, that's interesting. That is very interesting. Huh. Considering putting that on Draven for just crazy, crazy attacks. I kind of want to troll and put like a double, uh... <laughs> A double rapid fire on Yasuo or something. He'll literally be like Draven range now. That'd be hilarious. But. Probably not the way to go. Dude, 1380. Oh my god, that range is disgusting. He never has to move from the spot he's in. Alright, let's make this happen, shall we? Where you at, Kale? Where are you at? I'm looking for you. I'm looking for you. I know you're in here. Oh, that's awkward. That's awkward. Vein front line. Here we go, fellas. Here we go. Draven. D -d 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 Draven. We're level 9, so we're gonna bop it out of the park. You ready for this? He's done, though. Rest in pepperonis. Check this out, fellas. Check this out. Got him! The win streak bonus. We're going to plus 3 now. Oh my goodness, yes. Where are you at? <laughs> hey! <gasps> Say hello. Say hello. I don't want a frozen heart. What is this garbage? Who wants some armor? Anyone? This guy's going down anyways. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's watch the new Noble Rework in action, shall we? We got the next Leona on deck. Very nice, very nice. Dude, with MR added, check this out. Gain 60 armor, 60 magic resist, and they still have the heal on hit to all allies. Now it's no longer weak to magic. This is crazy, crazy craziness. Dude, Noble is going to take over the game with this change. This is probably a nutty rework. Before, I would pair with Dragons because it was had a huge armor buff, but no MR. The Dragons were godlike. But, now, Noble's good at is. Just, what the? What the, are, you, are you kidding me? The GA just... Hello? Are you, are you serious? <laughs> Oh, that's too funny. Right, let's drop the Darius. We're actually very close to leveling up our Draven. Ooh, that's a Kale. That's a Kale. We go for level three. La! <laughs> Oh my goodness, but I'm not sure if he's going to be able to survive this. Rounds might go to a draw because it's impossible to die, but eventually the damage will sink in. Draven got double damage this time around from Imperial. He's dishing it out. Look at him, 4k over already. This team comp is nutty and Guardian makes it so OP for two characters. Keep that in mind. 
Dude, this is a freaking clean house. Holy noble, fellas. Thank you all so much for watching. We upload 17 times a day, so if you're not subscribed to the channel, smack the button. I'm going to keep these new TFT updates coming. All right. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace, peace, peace out.